Hey guys, here's a video on a Predator 420cc in a doodlebug. I had a guy ask me how I fit this in here and what I did to make it work. He said the stock 212 for him didn't fit and he had to chop a frame. And I'm guessing he used a monster motor frame because that's the only frame you have to chop to fit a 212. Now if it was a stock airbox, stock, you might get away with it. I did on my last build. It was a purple build. You guys can uh, check it out on my Instagram or Facebook. And if it perfectly fine, I didn't have to hammer on a frame. But if you're doing a Makuni or a stage one with the aftermarket adapter and filter, you have to go in here and hammer this to get this to clear. And as you can see, I did it. Um, it's, I had to chop the front um, oil drain plug. So that's my least favorite frame. That's a motor box. It was my kind of favorite. That's the monster motor right there. You see in the middle it has the 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 metal and then that motor box is clear in the middle. Just goes straight back. So that's a stretch coming soon, like my old build that sold. But I have another set of wheels and I'm starting a new one with a new motor and stuff. So yeah, you guys stay tuned. So, this is the build. Um, it's a stock 420cc stage 1 stock internals. Just an intake kit and a exhaust. At first, we had a torque converter on it. We took it off because it made no top end. It was doing like 45 max, but the torque was amazing. You could sit your ass up on the bars and launch the bike off idle. And it would, it would just wheelie. You couldn't keep the front end down, which is kind of annoying. But for what we do, we like to ride in the street. We like to do 60 plus. Um... And this was not was not doing it. So we, we geared the bikes for top end. We sacrificed a little bit of low end to make up for it top end because most of the guys in the crew are still stage one stock internals. You can you can still have plenty of torque to get off the line if you're like a stage two because a stage two would rev more. But if you're not revving as much, you have to gear it for top end and sacrifice a little bit so the RPMs would help you up top. But if you're not really geared for top end, and your motor's not revving, it's just not gonna make the top end. So it's all in the gear ratio. If you're two, stage two, um, it does help out a lot. So it had a torque converter on it. I switched it out. I used a torque converter plate with a jack shaft setup because I wasn't gonna do the alignment again. And if you were to do a stock clutch on on a 420cc, the motor would sit so far out to the to the right. It'll be like it's right over the peg now. Um, it's my least favorite motor to do. It's so much work. It's it's super heavy. Um, I have stage one bikes that would dust this bike. It's super slow. It's not super slow, but for the work, the money, the cost of the motor and, and, and the work, it's just not worth it. It's If you were to ask me a stage one 420 or stage one 212, 212 any day. Throw some 18 pound springs in there, stock internal. That thing's doing 64 I guarantee you, um, you have to raise the tire height a little bit, throw some gear on it. You will sacrifice a little bit off the line, but it'll it'll make up for it top end. So it's all on your gear, it's all on your RPM, and it's all on the tire height. So the build on this was stage one, blah, blah, blah. And the thing you have to change, sorry, I rambled a lot. I didn't get to the point, but the thing you have to change is a you need a eight by 10, 316 steel plate you have to chop the roller wheel the the chain roller and you have to chop the fender uh, Fender bender the fucking tube that holds the, the rear fender on Basically, that's it. It's a non hardened steel. I got off eBay um, I pay like $15 for it. Just line it up. I recommend a torque converter The torque converter plate with, with this jack shaft setup because if you were to do a stock clutch straight chain from here to the back the motor is going to sit so far out to the right and it's already sitting out so far to the right with a torque converter uh, plate jack shaft setup so you don't see people doing this much um a couple people have done it it's just what i came up with because i didn't want to i don't want to have the the motor out so far to the left uh, to the right and it would just throw off the balance so it's pretty simple really there's nothing hard about it it's just a lot of labor it takes a lot of time um, it's kind of annoying because the motor's so heavy. You got to take off your your gas tank. You got to get another gas tank. This is a Tecumseh gas tank, three and a half horse Edger um, gas tank. Um, this is a billet sp split sprocket adapter with a 420, 420 pitch sprocket. 
And this is a customer's bike. It's been in my shop for like six months and I haven't got paid for it. So I'm not touching this bike. It needs a, it needs a little bit more work to where this looks clean um, and it needs a tensioner, but I'm not touching the bike so I get paid. So I haven't heard back from him, but if he doesn't pay, I'll just sell it. <laughs> it's too bad. Here's a little hydro conversion. And I hate these fucking things. They're like $60 from Go Power Sports. And it has three people in my crew. Like, they, they broke them. Like, the little, um, the little right there. That thing right there. That thing would just pop off. And the whole, whole, uh, whole caliper would just fling up. So, um, on one of my friends, we just put a bolt through it. And on the other side, and it's still running pretty good. Um, that's about it. It's really not hard. I'm getting a new Motorvox build. There's what I have in my shop now. I'll show you guys what's outside. I'm working on this right now for a customer. Um, he wants the rear tabs removed in the fender, so I just grinded this down real nice. Uh, working on this one. There's another Baja Warrior I finished yesterday for one of my crew guys. This thing looked like a piece of fucking shit when it came in. I swear to God. Go check out my Instagram on how it looked before. It had a whole camshaft welded on it. Like, I'm serious. A whole camshaft was welded on it. So I took that thing off, grinded it down, welded. Um, some nice these things from Walmart. They were amazing. The grips are crazy nice. So yeah, it's a fucking mess, but we gotta work. You dig? So yeah, I hope this helped. I promise I'm gonna make the video today. And if you have any more questions, let me know. See you.